The objective of this study was to test for the relative influence of different factors on low birth weight and preterm birth in southwestern Ontario. Those factors that we looked at included environmental factors, medical factors, behavioral factors, demographic factors, and socioeconomic status factors as well. So the strongest factor that we found was sulfur dioxide exposure. In fact, that was the only environmental factor of all the other environmental factors that we looked at that had, was, had a significant effect. The, the primary source of sulfur dioxide in our region is smelting um, and other industrial sources. Transportation sources are also play a role, but it, it's really the industrial sources. So with low birth weight, for every one unit increase in sulfur dioxide exposure, you're about 3.4 times more likely to have a low birth weight baby. Now a unit increase is a large increase in sulfur dioxide exposure. So if we just looked at a inc small incremental change, values that we actually had in our database, that still translated to a 30% higher increase in low birth weight. For preterm birth, the odds were two times more likely to have a premature baby for every one unit increase in sulfur dioxide exposure, even after adjusting for factors like socioeconomic status, uh, medical history, behavioral risk factors, uh, demographic factors, etc. Well, both low birth weight, so under five and a half pounds or 2,500 grams and preterm birth are not only associated with neonatal morbidity and mortality, but small babies also have a higher risk of things like hypertension, uh, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease in adulthood. We hear so much about um, the importance of prenatal vitamins, uh, prenatal care, healthy eating, and all of those are very, very important in terms of a healthy pregnancy. But just as important is the air that we breathe, and I think that's an important take-home message.